Is social networking an opportunity or a threat? If you use Facebook, are you their customers? Yes or no? I would definitely re recommend this program to uh, other schools. I think it's very important to share this information with your kids and your staff so that they're equipped uh, and, and so they don't make these mistakes that Mr. Seguin has spoke about. You're not alone. 49% of young people have experienced cyberbullying or they feel like they can say whatever they want to behind uh, the computer or the phone. Having someone with his experience come in and and tell them how important it is and the consequences I think you know gets to them. One in five users have forwarded inappropriate pictures. 82 percent send out texts just to get attention. Is the attention they're getting really positive? We feel we needed to equip them with uh, information that could help them and keep them safe. If there's a young man that's pressuring you that's saying that hey I'll go out with you, take you to the dance if you'll send me an inappropriate picture, are they really worth being friends with? As a result of the presentations, we're having students come forward to the administration, to counselors and teachers, giving them information about things that they have seen on the internet or concerns that they may have about some of their friends. Cyberbullying is harassing, humiliating, intimidating, or threatening others using messaging, social network, or the internet. When somebody bullies you online or in person, they actually feel about themselves the what they're calling you or saying about you. We face some issues with uh, our kids, uh, mostly on bullying, cyberbullying. I feel like Mr. Seguin has put some of those kids in an uncomfortable position and shed light on uh, their actions. Definitely the message was effective in reaching the kids. We had about uh, 14 students come and uh, turn information into us within the last roughly 24 hours. Uh, since the presentation yesterday. All the information at that point in time was stemmed around uh, bullying issues. When a bully bullies you, they empower you. They give you the power to put a stop to it and to make known what they're doing. Just in, within the last two days of the presentation, we've, we've already had several students come to us who have brought us information that they've received from other kids, you know, in reference to sexting and, and bullying and finally just coming out and letting us know that it's going, going on and it's happening to them. Is there anything that's free on the internet? All of it costs what? Privacy. I think now uh, students are realizing that, you know, some students with the, you know, the suicides and from the cyberbullying and even the sexting, how it ruins someone, I think they realize how serious it's getting and, and how it will affect them for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them are wanting to take back things they've done. It is important for people to be aware and people need to know what they're getting themselves into when they go online. Your name, your address, your phone number, your birth date, your kid's name, your dog's name, your maiden names, your spouse's name, your ex-spouse's name, your music, your favorite movie, your favorite TV show, that's inventory. And Google never ever forgets.